Hello everyone, this is Dr. Irfan Kamuruddin Andani and today we will discuss that what is the biological reaction of periodontal ligament to heavy orthodontic force. But before going into the details, you must know that what is heavy and what is light orthodontic force. The light orthodontic force is the amount of force that compresses the blood vessel on the compression or pressure side of the PDL when force is applied. On the other hand, heavy orthodontic force is the amount of force that completely occludes the blood vessels on the pressure or compression side. And because of that, the reaction to the heavy orthodontic force is totally different when you compare it with the light force, which we will see in the upcoming slides. Now, it does not make any difference whether you have applied light force or heavy force if the force application is just for a second or less than that. Initially, the tissue fluid is incompressible and because of the force, there will be just alveolar bone bending and which generates piezoelectric signals. You will see some flow of electrons in the collagen, alveolar bone and even in the PDL tissue fluid. If you keep on applying force for 1 to 2 seconds, now the tissue fluid will squeeze out from the PDL space into the alveolar bone proper and because of that there will be some movement of the tooth within the PDL space. Now if the force is heavy and the application is for 3 to 5 seconds, you will see some pressure and tension area and because of the force magnitude there will be occlusion of the blood vessels in the compression or pressure area of the PDL which will cut off the blood supply in this area within minutes and because of that there will be cessation of oxygen supply in this area of the PDL and you know very well that when oxygen supply has been stopped in any area of your body it leads to necrosis. Similarly here in the compression area where the blood flow has been stopped you will see some necrosis and cell death in the PDL which is known as Hyalinization. This hyalinization of PDL is also known as sterile necrosis because it does not involve any microbial infection. Now the question is that from where the osteoclasts will appear because you need osteoclasts to resorb the bone. So within few days to be more specific 3 to 5 days according to William Prophet. The osteoclasts will appear in the adjacent bone marrow spaces and within 7 to 14 days of force application there will be bone resorption by these osteoclasts starting from bone marrow reaching up till lamina dura. So in other words lamina dura will be the last layer to be resorbed if your force application is heavy. If you remember when we applied light orthodontic force, lamina dura was the first layer to be removed and that kind of resorption was known as frontal resorption while in this case of heavy orthodontic force, we call it undermining resorption because the direction of resorption is from inside to lamina dura. Now you can imagine that the whole chunk of bone has to be removed if you want to move this tooth which can even lead to the mobility of this tooth. Now let's talk about the difference of the tooth movement if you have applied light or heavy orthodontic force. If you have applied force more than 6 hours and your force is light, there will be a smooth movement as you can see in this graph because of the frontal type of resorption. But if the force application is heavy, initially there won't be any movement because it takes time to activate the osteoclasts in the marrow spaces. And once they are activated, they will also take time to resorb the whole chunk of the bone. So in heavy force, you will get delayed movement but the movement will be abrupt and jumping. Because the whole chunk of bone is removed, the tooth jumps from one position to another. So the movement is not only abrupt but it is, it is delayed, tooth can have mobility and this is also somewhat painful.